Hello everyone, this is Tim from the Utah Education Network and I want to spend a little bit of time in this tutorial going over some iMovie basics. Um, in other tutorials we've talked about creating iMovie trailers and doing narrated slideshows with iMovie, um, but I just want to go over some basics if you're creating a, a project that's going to involve you filming and um, sort of more traditional style of a video project. So um, let's jump right in. Let me get uh, iMovie started here. All right, and for uh, just for your information, um, iMovie is a $5 app. If you are putting it on lots of iPads, you can purchase it through the volume purchasing program uh, for half that price, but you have to buy 20 or more licenses. Okay, so now we are in uh, here in iMovie, and uh, you can see across the top there are uh, a couple of tabs up here, and I'm in the Projects tab. So in the Project tab, it lets me see projects that I've, I'm working on, so I could go back into any of these and, and continue editing them. Um, this Video tab here is... Um, is the tab that will show you your library of videos that you have available. Okay, video that is on this device. So whether it was um, like this project here at the top, this one right here, whether it was a project that you created in iMovie and finished, so that's the finished version of it, or if it's video um, down here that you've just captured with your camera, um, you've just filmed right along with uh, and captured it with your video camera, your built-in camera. Um, you can see some other exported projects down here as well and as we get further down you can see video um, taken with the camera on this iPad um, of some kids. Okay, so I'm going to go back to that projects tab. <clears throat> oh, before I go on, let me just mention this theater tab. So the theater is kind of a new thing. Um, when you um, are working on a project and you finish it, you can have it exported or rendered or shared to the theater. Okay, so now these ones are finished projects, so I could come in here and to, to watch these. Okay, so I could click on it, open it up, and watch it. Also, if I have another device, another Apple device, whether it's a, com a computer or another iPad or an iPhone, if or an iPod Touch, um, if I have logged in to both devices with my Apple ID and both devices have iMovie on them, then when I save one of these projects to the theater, it ends up on the other device. So for instance, this is my iPad you're seeing. If I wanted to go watch one of these now, I could go to my computer and uh, open up iMovie on my computer if I have the updated version of iMovie, it would have a theater tab just like here. And I could go into the theater and these vi three videos would be available. I'd have to download them, but I could download them and watch them on that computer. So for classroom use, where I see this coming in really handy is if you have students creating projects and um, when they're finished, if they save them to the theater, and you have a classroom Apple account or you maybe even have your teacher account or your own personal account, if you're, if you're logged in on your iPad and on your computer, once they send them to the theater, then uh, they end up on your computer. So they get turned in. So it's an easy way to get um, projects turned in from an iPad to a computer. Okay, But just a caveat, I did say that you did have to have um, be logged in with the same Apple account on both devices. Okay, so let's say if we're going to start a new project, we're going to click this plus over here in the corner. So I'll just get started here, and this is where you get to choose. We've already, in, the, in a past tutorial, we've talked about creating a trailer. This time we're going to talk about just creating a regular movie. So let's open that up quick. Okay, so the first option you have here is to pick a theme. And um, some of the themes come with pretty um, involved transitions and titles. I'm going to pick pick this simple one here um, just because it doesn't have a lot of that stuff it's more clean and then go up here where it says create movie and tap on that and then we'll get into sort of the editing mode here where we can see how things are um, are set up so along the bottom here is basically your timeline this is where we're going to build our project we're going to bring different kinds of content down here and this is where we edit it put it together adjust it um, and put in titles and transitions and all that kind of stuff. In this right hand um, 
this top right hand area this is where we see all our available media so for instance right now mine is showing um, it looks like it's showing mostly video but if I drop that little menu down um, then you can see that I have uh, oh, I'm gonna close that up so if you look across the top you can see I'm in the video category and I can look and I can see everything that's in my video or everything on this computer that is video that is available for me to edit. I can tap on photos. Now I can see all the photos that I've already taken that are available for me to add to this project and the same with audio. Okay, so whether it's theme music or built-in sound effects or uh, music that I have in my iTunes or in my music app. Okay, music that I've downloaded or purchased. All right. And then this big area up here is basically it's our monitor. It's what we get where we get to see um, <clears throat> what's been going on. Now, if, if you're new to iMovie, there's a little help button up here, and here's what it does. It turns on some titles, so to remind us what each um, button does. So that's kind of a nice. So you can um, you can uh, you can turn that on and off just to just to see. Okay, and these things can be adjusted. So if you're used to working one way, I'm just clicking and dragging up there on the black. So if I want those switched, because in the previous version of iMovie, those those top two regions were in, were in opposite places, but <clears throat> it's not gonna matter too much. Okay, so first off, um, if we want to film, you know, and do one of these quick edit videos where we're just filming and we're going to film it straight in and we do minimal editing. I can come right down here to the camera icon in this corner and that turns on my camera. Let me pick up my iPad here. All right, so it turns on my camera and you can see um, the choices. So I can take video and if I want higher quality video um, or if I just want not higher quality, if I want photos, if I want to take a photo, I could sw just swipe to go up to photo or go to video and then all I need to do is tap that nice red button there and I will start filming now uh, I recommend for iMovie use that you hold your iPad in landscape um, because then our video will when we bring it into iMovie it'll fill the frame and we won't get black bars down the side so I'll just film a little bit here nothing too exciting going on here today so I can just pan across our room. Not only is it picking up the video, it is also picking up um, the microphone. And if you need it to focus, if you tap right on your screen, right where you want it to focus, you'll see a little uh, that little square come up and it'll adjust its focus. If it doesn't do that automatically. Okay, so I push the stop button and it's stopped now. And you can see some of the options here. So I can play it back to just see what I've captured. If I don't like it, I can use retake here to start over. I can scrub through the video using that scrubber along the top um, to look at different portions of it. Let me just click play. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Um, and then there's a use video button in that, uh, in the lower right hand corner, okay. There we go, now we're back. All right, so you can see that it automatically um, adds that video to my timeline, okay? It also gets stored up here in my video, so if I wanted to use it for something else, it'd still be available for me, um, but it automatically drops it into the timeline. Now, if I do a pinch down there in the timeline, I can sort of zoom out or pinch out to zoom in. <clears throat> And then I can tap on, there's a play down there you can see that will play. You can see that that white line is the, is the playhead. So wherever that white line is, um, that is what you see. All right, so that gets video in <clears throat> under the timeline. So the, the quick ways to edit this, if you tap on it, you'll see that um, these orange handles come up. And if I grab an orange handle and drag it, it's actually trimming off video. So that's a quick way to cut off um, beginnings and endings okay, of a clip and I can see what what I'm doing up in the up in the playhead I mean up in the monitor as I go okay also I can just with, with that selected I can drag down with my finger sometimes I'm not good at doing this one if I need to split that clip into more than one piece Oh, 
Let me just get my finger to work. Oh, my finger doesn't want to work today. Okay. Um, so that gets that video down. We'll come back to that. All right. So I can add video if I have. Let me bring in another um, another piece here, quick. Let me just grab another piece of video. So if I have video in the library, I can. Excuse me. I can tap on it, and you can say, "Get this nice little menu that pops up," which lets me play it. That's the middle button there. Um, also, I can just use this to. to drop it in, it'll drop in right in the playhead. I can also adjust if, if I don't want all of it, if I just want a portions of it, I can use those up there to adjust that and then have it dropped into the video. Okay. All right, so now I have um, two pieces of video. And if I decide later that I wanted this one in front, if you tap and hold, it sort of pops out of line and I can adjust the, st the stacking order there. Okay. So just some quick editing tools here. Um, this little guy over here, this little blue waveform, that turns on and off this little bit here that shows the audio that's accompanying this, the, the waveform. So if I mine is on, I like to work with it on. If I tap on that, it turns it off. Okay, so you have um, that choice as well. So really quick, um, uh, let's talk about if you needed to do. We've already done photos, so I'm going to kind of stay away from photos. Um, but if you wanted to add in sound effects, okay. So if I go to audio and the sound effects. You can see it comes with quite a few sound effects. So let's say I want to use this applause. I'm going to drop that in. Now that was nine seconds. So if I want it to be shorter, I can trim that up and make it a much shorter piece. I can also adjust where it is. So I just tapped and held because maybe I don't want the applause to come until back there and I can adjust where that applause happens. Okay. Also, if I did want to narrate some of this or add voiceover, use the microphone button down there. And it's ready to record. Now it's going to pick up the microphone, the built-in mic. So I just tap up here to record. Um, gives me a quick little countdown. And then I could narrate or do a voiceover. And you can see where it's, um, where it's recording. I could stop that and I have to accept it. And now I have this little recorded piece. And I, again, can adjust where and when it happens, even if it ha if, even if it's going to overlap the applause. Okay. All right. The a uh, couple more things quick. Um, this little transition that went in automatically, you can see it there. When I tap on it, I get some options for kinds of transitions um, right here along the bottom. So by default, it's just a really simple crossfade. Okay, just a simple crossfade. But if you have a need for something other than that, you could do this one, which is a um, which is a slide. See, so now it slides. You can kind of see the the effect there. It slides, and I can just adjust that really easily by tapping. This does a star reveal. So let's see if it can. Uh, it hasn't. It's, it hasn't done the uh, rendering yet. Or maybe that's just a fade to black and back in. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to go back to this simple crossfade. Okay. All right, so that's how we can uh, put in transitions if we need to. If you want to put a title in, titles have to go on top of um, visuals. So let's say I uh, maybe I have a picture here, and I want I'm just going to pull this one in. Right, I'm going to drop this uh, this photo in, and I want a title on top of that. So when I tap on it. Um, when I tap on either a still image or a piece of video, this menu across the bottom comes up. You can see it down here. It says title. Okay, so I can say, oh, I want a title on there. And it gives me a couple of options here for the kinds, the kind of title. All right, so when I want to put the text in, I have to tap up here um, in my monitor. So I could say, I could put in my title. Okay. I even have a little spell correct up there. All right. And then if I wanted to change um, how that looked, you can see way over here on the lower right, there is um, a few options um, for how these look. So let's say I want standard, and um, I, it gives, even gives me more room to add text. Okay. And then I can play it back. And the way I go to edit that is to tap on the clip that it's on top of and go to title and I can adjust oops, 
which um, which kind of title happens. Okay, and you just can scrub back and forth to see how it looks. And the way I can tell it, there's text on top of that that piece, that visual. There's a little T in that corner. All right, so let's say you've edited all, all your project and you're ready to finish it. Okay, so if you're going to finish it, I just go back here. I don't have, there's no saving. I use this little back carrot. Okay, right, maybe tap on that again. Okay, so there it is. Um, and uh, if I wanted to, fi if I was finished with it, I would use this share button. And you can see the options here. If I just save the video, it just saves a rendered version of this to my camera roll that I could play back anytime. Um, I can, oh, the, the project is always saved. So I could always come back and edit it some more. You can see that this new option here to send it to iMovie Theater. That just is a way to turn it in. So let's say I send it to iMovie Theater and it does a quick little export and we won't really We'll see how fast this goes. This, depending on how long your movie and how complicated it is, um, this could take um, a few minutes. So plan on that with your student projects. Um, it gives me some information here. This one is uh, 24 seconds long. I could rename the title if I needed to. Okay, so you can see now it's showing up in my in my theater under projects here. Um, it's right here, my movie number five. And if I wanted to, of course, I could tap on it and change this to my great movie okay and now now that's what that's the title that'll show up it doesn't show up in the movie it's just the, more of a label than a title okay if i wanted to edit it click on this little button even though i've already sent it to the um to the theater or i've already rendered it and i can tap on that go right back continue editing um, if i wanted the updated one to go to the theater i would have to reshare it to the theater all right, guys, so just a really quick, fast run through of some basic skills in iMovie. Thanks for watching.